Man, I'm on a roll today, guys. I'm gonna keep going. The Winner's Legion. That's who it's all. Man, he's gonna get wild tonight, I can already tell. July 4th, everybody's inebriated. I'm gonna go deaf from all these friggin' fireworks. But uh, I promise to give you guys the realest content you can get, the realest focus, the most, the most de dedicated, the most, you know, I can see everybody's up to no good today, but I'm here to bring you guys the real, the real content. Today, we've gone over so many things, but I'm continuing because I just feel fired up, and I want you guys to be fired up. Winning is not the only thing, it's everything. It's everything that you could imagine and more. When you're winning, it just keeps it keeps piling on, and it keeps it, keep, it becomes a part of your lifestyle. And most people don't win; they're weak and not focused at all. But over here, we win. That's what we do every day, and I want you guys to be a part of that. So, how do you do it? Create the small goals like we talked about before, right? You sacrifice and you start to plan. What you do is you write down all your goals and then you start prioritizing. You're going to pick one goal. You're going to pick one goal and focus on that and then you're going to go ahead and set standards to achieve that goal. And the way to do that is to create an action plan. Without an action plan, you can't, you can't really, you're never gonna get to where you wanna be. So what is an action plan? Action plan is a step-by-step -step procedure to you guys getting to where you wanna be. So that means actually writing things down. And I know a lot of you guys are afraid to write all those things down, but I'm here to tell you that you don't need to be afraid. That you can write down exactly what you want to do in life. Put pen to paper and make it reality. Because I've done it over and over and over again. Multiple times. Multiple goals. Fitness goals. Business goals. Personal goals. Getting women goals. You name it. Buying a car. Buying a motor. All these things can be achieved through your actual action plans. If you don't have an action plan, it's going to be pretty, pretty hard to get things going. Most people don't, most people have goals, but they don't have a freaking action plan. An action plan is an actual piece, the biggest piece of the puzzle because the action plan maps out what you're gonna do in order to get to where you wanna be. So, for example, you want to buy a Maserati. You're gonna write down the purchase price. You're gonna write down the MSRP. You're going to go ahead and figure out if you're too broke to afford it or you're going to go ahead and start putting together all of the components to getting the Maserati. You're gonna take a look at your income versus your expenses. You're gonna do all the typical things that people do budgeting for getting that car. And if you're broke, you're gonna go ahead and make sure that you've got um, all the things that you need in order to get there. So for example, let's say your Maserati is going to cost you 70 grand and you make $15 an hour. Well, it's going to be a while before you get there. But you've got to write it down. 
you have to write it down. You have to map out how you're going to get there. Well, I don't know how to get there. A lot of people don't know how to get there. But if you don't actually make it tangible, you will never achieve it. Let me repeat. If you don't make it tangible, if you don't make the goal set, you will never achieve it. You have to write it down. The most powerful people in the world, the most prolific goal setters are also the biggest winners. And they wrote things down and they set those goals and then they created an action plan to get there. That's what you guys need to do. You need to put together the plan. So how do you plan things? So first you got your goal. Next, you said, Anyway, you set standards. You set actual actionable activities to get you to where you want to be. You make $15 an hour, you want your Maserati. Well, obviously, you need to get a better job. Well, how do I get a better job? You need to set standards. I need more skills. I need to get a trade. I need to become a plumber, an electrician. Then you're going to map out the timeline that it takes to get the education in order to get the skills required to get more compensation. Compensation is, is everything. Not through your investments, not through your 401k, all that other stuff. You save those things for a rainy day. You save those for retirement. But actual, your compensation is everything. Your income, investing in yourself is numero uno. I'm a big proponent of that. Investing in yourself, meaning education, training, skills, certifications. You know, uh, there was somebody that said that, uh, what was it, uh, I forgot how they put it, but essentially education gets compensated or uh, I forgot how they put it but you get the idea competency that's it competency gets compensated the more competent you are in your field the higher you can charge price wise now if you're not your own businessman which the vast majority of you are not that's okay you can still get promotions you can still get the skills required in your field to move up at your job. You need to get competent, more competent. You can't move up at a company doing the same old crap, just waiting because you're a senior, you know, you're a senior in your field or whatever. You got to actually make things happen by going out there and getting yourself more competent more skills, more education, more certifications. When I was a trainer and I started out and I had only one certification, I learned very quickly that the more certifications I got, the more knowledgeable I was, easier it was to help people and diagnose certain issues. And of course, consequently, I paid a lot, lot more. At the end, I think I had I had close to seven or eight certifications and they were all in similar parts of what I wanted to get accomplished, right? So that's what you guys need to do. How's it going? So, man, when I'm doing these videos, man, <laughs> people give me the funniest looks. I love it though. I don't give a shit. It's just funny. This guy's, this guy right behind me with his bicycle. He looks halfway to hell. He's giving me a funny story. I love it. I love this, man. This is fun. So, competency. Get compensated in your field by improving your education, your, net, your network, all these things that will improve your bottom line. You got to write it down, though. Everything has to match up. 
you start with the goal. You start, then next is your standards. Then it's the execution timetable, the executables. How long is it gonna take me to get educated? How long is it gonna take me to move up? And if it's too long, guess what? You're in the wrong field. If you're a fry cook at McDonald's, you're probably in the wrong field to get a Maserati. Maybe you move up to shift leader, but it, everything has to be written down. And yeah, of course things happen. You know, you're going to have things happen that are going to throw you off your plan sometimes. But the fact that you actually mapped it out and had the balls to write down what you want out of life is the first step. Most people are so afraid. It's, I mean, they think they think it, they want it, and they can't even write it down. They can't even verbalize it and you want to know why is because they know most people are going to shoot them down they're going to say hey why do you want to get a mark awesome. you don't need that it doesn't matter if you want it if you really desire it what are you willing to do to get it you're going to write down your plan and then you're going to get some you're going to create an actual plan executables I like to call them because you can execute them. because you can actually put pen to paper and make it happen right and that's that's 90% of the battle and that's what most people don't want to do they don't want to put in that type of work it's too scary for them right and it's understandable I think that like I spoke to you guys earlier about most people are risk averse. They don't want to deal with that type of nonsense. I don't blame them. And uh, look, if you're content with staying where you're at and being a part of just, you know, a specific company and all this stuff, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. But if you want more, you're going to have to do something about it. And that means actually putting together some education and an action plan that outlines your progress. You know what I mean? With my bouncing yes. Oh, yes. So, how do you get, how do you, how do you go onto that path? How do you, how do you proceed after that? Well, you've written down your goal. You've started your action plan. You have mapped out a timetable. Now, you gotta start moving. You have to start down that path and you have to give yourself a deadline. Yes, you heard me, a deadline. You've got to give yourself a deadline. I don't care if it's five years from now. You gotta give yourself a deadline. And you gotta set those standards. Because if you don't get, I mean, you could write down all the goals you want. You could write down all the action plans you want. You've got to give yourself some sort of executable. I want this Maserati within five years, 10 years. Okay, fair enough. Let's get that Maserati in five or 10 years. I'm cool with that. Are you guys cool with that? Sounds good to me. But now is your, comes your biggest hurdle. You've got to actually get the balls to do it. And once again, I got your guys back. Oh, man. Supermarket closed already? Damn. Ah. Oh, well. Anyway, the bottom line is I want to see you guys execute on it. I want to see you guys actually go for it and kill the game and write everything out. That's everything. That's what it takes. So... I'm going to see if this... Oh, I think this supermarket is still open. Until next time, guys. I'm watching you. Get it done.